Hello, good day. This is Ahmed Khan here from Food Mahir and Gardening Ideas. And uh, let me take you through quickly on today's weekend activity. So I have planted a new plant, which is uh, the Madagascar Jasmine. It was in the pot for quite a while. This uh, Madagascar Jasmine is very popular in, uh, for wedding bouquet. I have another one here, which uh, is already an established one. And so I just thought to have another one here. So this was, uh, it's always better to have it established a bit in the pot. I just have to trail it up now. Once I get some time next week, it is already going up, but I have to probably add a scrim down. Madagascar jasmine have some excellent uh, waxy flowers and it gives an excellent uh, um, look to your garden. I've also given a bit of a shower and some liquid fertilizer to uh, uh, Camadori Elegance, the parlor palm, which is the, one of the most attractive uh, indoor palms. Um, didn't get enough chance to for the haircut and trim, but I have uh, certainly uh, watered it with and given some food and fertilizer, liquid fertilizer to this Kamadori Elegance. Crotons and other succulents are doing well as well. This is my one of the favorites, Monster Black Rose Ionium. I have been a bit busy in my routine and not able to really focus more on the plant care. I have uh, fertilized all my plants this Saturday. This is night jasmine here. So this is an interesting one. I have received some comments from my viewers and subscribers that how long does it take for Pandoria jasminoides, the flower of beauty, to grow? And my answer was like, you need to give it uh, one year. So for an example, this one is a tiny one. I have planted a new one. And I shared the link of my previous Pandoria jasminoides, flower of beauty jasmines but you see they grow pretty quick here they have, this is all within a uh, few weeks you know it, it has just it is just making its own way all what we need to do is for the pandoria jasminoides or bower of beauty just to plant them in a reasonably good soil which is well drained which is not fully soaked all the time and uh, then add some support here so that we can trail it up and then it will make its you know the twining strings will thus make its own way up so probably i'll update you again in a few weeks but guys you know you can have a pretty reasonable pandoria jasminoides just uh, uh, in a year or two and it will give you an excellent pink flowers with a reddish tinge in the middle a very romantic trailing clever climber jasmine it is very well maintained and contained its leaves are really very beautiful even if they are not flowering they look good so i'm hoping that i'll have my second bar of beauty pandoria jasmine oh, it is ready soon this is the propagation i have just taken some shoots from hot lips and you can see here it is uh, taking its roots so this one did not so just let's remove it and i've done it a few weeks ago and this one is the purple salvia greggy quite similar to the hot lips salvias and this one is the propagated one as well this one uh, for the first time i have propagated the 
hot lip salvia. I'll show you a few more shoots that I've planted in other Another locations. One that I have uh, tried to propagate and it is taking its root quite well. You see here. And uh, in a few weeks, that should be ready also. Green chilies is really doing well. They are perennial, but they can really last longer if they are maintained well. I'm very happy with it. The health of the uh, green chilies. The cascading style elephant bush. I'm not getting enough time to trim it again. But that's a beauty. See here, if you remember, I have posted quite a lot of vlogs on the elephant bush, Tula Carrier Afra, and they are all hanging style. They are all cascading. I'm giving an excellent vibe to the backyard. Need to do a lot of work. Just not getting enough time. And that's all for today. Keep watching my channel. Until then, bye.